and minus 5 0 7 express the matrix a as the sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix where a is equal to 4 2 minus 3 uh, 1 3 minus 6 and minus 5 0 7 here a plus a transpose now <coughs> what is our target we want to write this matrix a as a sum of the symmetric and skew symmetric matrix how we find symmetric and skew symmetric matrix uh, we know that this a you can see in this equation this a can be expressed as a plus a transpose plus a minus a transpose divided by 2 where this is our first matrix that is a plus a transpose divided by 2 this is our second matrix a, pi a minus a transpose divided by 2 uh, <coughs> if you want to check you can see this uh, first matrix is symmetric matrix a plus a transpose divided by 2 this 1 by 2 is uh, just a constant so uh, there is no effect on these equations right of the constant whenever you, we multiply any symmetric matrix or skew symmetric matrix we multiply with any constant there is nothing change right symmetric matrix should be uh, become a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix become a skew symmetric whenever we multiply any constant number right so <coughs> this what i want to tell you that this first matrix a plus a transpose is symmetric matrix and a minus a transpose is skew symmetric matrix and we want to write down this matrix a as exactly the sum of this two symmetric and skew symmetric matrix so that's why we find here a plus a transpose and a minus a transpose right so this is our a a plus a transpose this is our a 4 2 minus 3 1 3 minus 6 minus 5 0 7 and plus this is a transpose you can see we are just interchanging the row and column the 4 2 minus 3 that that will become first column this 1 mi 3 minus 6 that will become the second column and this third row minus 5 0 7 of a that will become the third column right so clearly uh, this is exactly the transpose of a a plus a transpose that is equal to 4 plus 4 8 2 plus 1 3 minus 3 minus 5 minus 8 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 minus 6 plus 0 minus 6 minus 5 minus 3 that is minus 8 0 minus 6 that is minus 6 and 7 plus 7 that is 14 so this is a plus a transpose this matrix and if you want to check that this is symmetric matrix this is exactly the symmetric matrix you can see whenever you transpose of this matrix you will get the same matrix 8 3 minus 8 this is the first column 8 3 minus 8 3 6 minus 6 the second row is exactly the second column and minus 8 minus 6 14 the third row is exactly the third column so whenever you transpose of this matrix you will get the same matrix right so this is symmetric matrix now <coughs> let's try to find a minus a transpose this is our a minus this is our a transpose right that is equal to 4 minus 4 0 2 minus 1 1 minus 3 minus minus 5 that is minus 3 plus 5 that is 2 1 minus 2 minus 1 and 3 minus 3 that is 0 minus 6 minus 0 that is minus 6 uh, minus 5 minus minus 3 that is minus 2 and uh, 0 minus minus 6 that is 6 okay uh, this is 6 actually and 7 minus 7 that is 0 so you can see the main diagonal entries are 0 the main diagonal entries are always 0 in skew symmetric matrix and this two are negativeness so you see one there this is one this is this is a 1 2 this is a 2 1 entry so that's two are right negative of each other this is 1 this is minus 1 you can see this is 2 this is minus 2 similar this is minus 6 and this is 6 so this is a skew symmetric matrix and a can be expressed as now we can express a can be expressed as symmetric and some of the symmetric and skew symmetric matrix so 
a is equal to 1 by 2 a plus a transpose plus a minus a transpose that is equal to 1 by 2 a plus a transpose that means 8 3 minus 8 this is 3 6 minus 6 minus 8 minus 6 14 plus 1 by 2 into a minus a transpose that is 0 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 6 in minus 2 6 0 so we can express a as a sum of the symmetric and skew symmetric matrix okay so <coughs> this 8 3 minus 8 3 6 minus 6 minus 8 minus 6 14 divided by 2 so 4 3 by 2 minus 4 4 3 by 2 minus 4 uh, second row divided by 2 you will get 3 by 2 3 minus 3 3 by 2 3 minus 3 then uh, third row divided by 2 that you will get minus 4 minus 3 7 minus 4 minus 3 7 then 0 1 2 minus 1 uh, divided first row divided by 2 you will get 0 1 by 2 1 then minus 1 by 2 0 minus 3 and minus 1 3 0 so this is symmetric matrix and this is skew symmetric matrix right so the matrix the first matrix on the RHS is a symmetric matrix and the second matrix in a RHS is a skew symmetric matrix okay so here the complete the solution of this question next question show that the characteristic equation of a 2 cross 2 matrix A can be expressed as lambda square minus trace of A into lambda plus determinant of A that is equal to 0 right so tra trace of A means the sum of the main diagonal entries and this is determinant of A that you should know let us try to check here is the solution uh, <coughs> consider a 2 cross 2 matrix any 2 cross 2 matrix the first row is a11 a12 second row is a21 a22 okay the characteristic equation of a is a minus lambda i determinant of a minus lambda i that is equal to 0 so the first column uh, the main in main diagonal entries we have to add minus lambda the other entries are same that we know so a11 minus lambda and here a22 minus lambda this a12 and a21 are as it is right uh, determinant of this uh, this four terms uh, that is equal to 0 so a11 minus lambda into a22 minus lambda minus multi multiplication of this two term that is a21 into a12 okay a12 into a21 that is equal to 0 now multiply this two term you will get a11 a22 right uh, a11 a22 minus minus lambda into a22 and here minus lambda into a11 so minus lambda will be common in bracket you will get a11 plus a22 and the last term is minus lambda into minus lambda that will become plus lambda square okay and this this is uh, the last term is as it is minus a12 a21 that is equal to 0 just uh, simplify this equation uh, or just uh, rearrange this equation uh, i want to write this lambda square first so lambda square then minus lambda into a11 plus a22 plus a11 a22 minus a12 a21 okay a11 a22 minus a12 a21 that is equal to 0 right so <coughs> using our definition of the characteristic equation we will get this equation lambda square minus lambda into a11 plus a22 plus a11 a22 minus a12 into a21 now what is the this middle term you can see minus lambda into a11 plus a22 what is a11 plus a22 sum of the main diagonal entries that is exactly the trace of a what is a11 a22 minus a12 a21 a11 a22 minus a12 a21 that is exactly the determinant of this matrix right so now we can write down this equation as lambda square minus trace of a into lambda plus determinant of a that is equal to 0 
right and uh, this is this equations are satis this equations is satisfied for any two cross two matrix any square matrix right this is not satisfied for any particular matrix we are taking elements in general that a11 a12 a21 a22 so this matrix uh, this equation satisfies for any two two cross two matrix right so here the complete the solution uh, so we prove that show the uh, correct uh, the characteristic equation of a two cross two matrix a can be expressed with this equation lambda square minus trace of a into lambda plus determinant of a that is equal to 0 right so next question question 1 is complete now we already seen seven question each question have two marks now question 2 right question 2 a obtain the reduced row equivalent form of the given matrix here we have 4 cross 4 matrix this matrix uh, is a size of 4 cross 4 and also we want to find uh, rank of a matrix right here the rank the word rank is missing here but you can understand that we want to find the rank of a matrix A ok so let's see uh, here is a matrix A is equal to the first row is 1 3 2 2 second row is uh, 1 2 1 3 third row is 2 4 3 4 and the uh, fourth row is 3 7 4 8 now we want to convert this matrix into a row equivalent form so we multiply first row with minus 1 and add into the second row also we multiply first row with minus 2 and add into the third row and then we multiply first row with minus 3 and add into the fourth row so see this is our leading entry in the first row right this is our leading entry in the first row we are trying to make uh, the below below of the, this leading entry we want to make 0 right now first of all try to understand what is the what is the conditions to become a reduced row colon form there are five conditions uh, first it should be a row colon form right in row colon form there are three conditions which should be a satisfied the first condition is if there is any leading entry right if there is any leading entry in the first row below that leading entry all the entries should be zero right uh, what is our leading entry leading entry means uh, with row wise the first non zero entry uh, sometime we also call it pivot or sometime we call leading entry so that leading element or leading entry below that leading entry all the elements should be zero in the in that column right that is our first condition now what is second condition the second condition is whenever we are going from above to below right the leading entry is going from left to right that means in first row here is our leading entry so in second row that leading entry is going from left to right so whenever we are going from above to below in the given matrix our leading entry should be going from left to right that is our second condition it should be a satisfied uh, the third condition is if there is any zero row if there is any zero row that means the whole row contains only the zero element so it should be the bottom of the matrix right so if this these three conditions are satisfied then we can say that the given matrix is in row colon form right just a row colon form here we want to convert this matrix into a reduced row colon form and for reduced row colon form we have to add two more conditions in these three conditions the first condition that means this three conditions is already satisfied right it should be a satisfied for reduced row colon form the another two conditions are added in this three conditions so total five conditions the first condition is the leading entry must be one right the first condition is the leading entry must be one and the second condition in which column uh, in any column if we have leading entry in that column except the leading entry other all the elements are zero that means what below that leading entry we have already zero 
right because there is a condition to become a row colon form but uh, the above of the that leading entry also we want zero right so in that column except the leading entry all the element should be zero so this two conditions uh, also add in the given three conditions so total five conditions if this five conditions are satisfied then we can say that the given matrix is in reduced row colon form okay so we are trying to convert this matrix into a reduced row colon form and uh, from reduced row colon form we also uh, we can also easily find to rank of the given matrix because uh, rank of the given matrix is just uh, uh, non zero row right the number of non zero row in the uh, row colon form or reduced row colon form matrix okay so let's see how we convert the given matrix into a reduced row colon form So here is our matrix 1, 3, 2, 2. Uh, so as I told you that we multiply first row with uh, minus 1 and add into the second row, we multiply first row with minus 2 and add into the third row and we multiply first row with minus 3 and add into the fourth row. So that's why uh, below that leading entry, this is our leading entry and below that leading entry, now we can make 0. So here is our processes as I told you see we multiply first row with minus 1 and add into the second row so what what is our second row you can see from this matrix 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 3 minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 and 3 minus 2 1 so 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 now this is our uh, we multiply first row with minus 2 and add into the third row so that's why the third row become now c 2 minus 2 0 4 minus 6 that is minus 2 3 minus 4 that is minus 1 and 4 minus 4 0 so here is our third row 0 minus 2 minus 1 0 now next uh, we multiply first row with uh, minus 3 and add into the fourth row so 3 minus 3 0 7 minus 9 minus 2 4 minus 6 that is minus 2 and 8 minus 6 that is 2 so 0 minus 2 minus 2 2 okay so this is our first row as it is the second row is 0 now we multiply second row with minus 1 first of all so first row is as it is second row become now zero.